My name is Dave Calmerian. I want to talk to you today about my Lego model of the guided missile cruiser USS Boston. This is my favorite Lego model that I've built and I want to tell you why I made it and show you some of the details involved in building it. So first here's a photo of me with the model at the Hampton Roads Naval Museum brick by brick Lego shipbuilding event. As you can see this is a big model. It is seven feet long and is made of over 12,000 Lego bricks. Every piece used to make this model is an official Lego brick. So why did I make this model? For a couple of reasons. First of all, as you can see, I'm wearing a Boston Red Sox hat right now. I grew up in the Boston area. It's always fun to have a personal connection to a ship model you're making. But beyond that, this ship is a very unique and important part of US Navy history because it was the world's first guided missile cruiser. Boston was originally commissioned as a Baltimore class heavy cruiser in 1943 and fought in the Pacific during World War II. You can see what the ship originally looked like in this photo, with a big turret on the stern, along with seaplane catapults and a crane. Ten years later, she was completely rebuilt, as seen in this photo, now armed with enormous terrier missiles on the stern. Boston went on to serve in the Vietnam War as well. So let's talk about a few things that make this model interesting to me. First of all, as I mentioned, this rebuilt cruiser was armed with huge Terrier anti-aircraft missiles. You can see in this photo what those missiles really looked like. They were almost 30 feet long. And here's a close-up photo of the Lego version of those missiles on my model. Now, when I'm trying to make a model, I try to be as accurate as possible. But for these missiles, I had to make a compromise. As you can see in this photo, the Terrier missiles were actually painted bright yellow. Lego doesn't make the little rocket pieces in a yellow color, so I had to make mine white instead. Now this last photo here is a shot of one of those missiles being launched. It would have been quite a sight to see. In addition to missiles, this ship had many different sizes of guns mounted on board. Here's a photo of her main 8-inch gun turrets, so that you can first see what they really looked like. And now here is a photo of my Lego version of those guns. The smallest of Boston's deck guns were these 3-inch 50 anti-aircraft guns. Here's a photo of what those guns on board the real USS Boston looked like. And here's what they looked like on my model. You can see in my model that there's even a little stool and an instrument panel for one of the gunners. Making a LEGO ship model can take a lot of patience and can be frustrating. You have to build every component by trial and error. One of the hardest parts for me is building the bow of a ship. The steel bow of a ship curves in several di different directions at once, as you can see in this photo of Boston's bow. When I build a ship model, I always end up building a bow, taking it apart again because I'm not happy with it, and then doing it over and over again. Here's a photo of the bow of my Boston model, and to be honest, I'm still not that happy with it. When making a ship bow, you have to try many different types of pieces and different ways to attach them together. My advice to you on making a bow is to try and try and try again until you get it right. So for all you LEGO shipbuilders out there, my advice to you is to do your research. Look for photos of the ship you want to build on the internet and try to make your model match those photos. Be patient, don't get frustrated. It might take a few attempts to get it right. And lastly, use your imagination and have fun.